Hello and welcome to this ONDR mod drill video, Headliner Removal, Why and How. This is video 191 in our series of XK videos. And this video is actually part of a series of videos. We've been detailing all the things you need to do in replacing uh, the headliner on our 1996 Jaguar XK8. Why then, you ask? Well, when I bought the car, the headliner actually had been recovered previously and it had started to sag, albeit the fabric was still intact. So I actually removed it and re-glued it badly. And the result was these sort of pressure marks and indents. And after a year or so, the fabric started to sag again. So I thought I'd leave the gluing to the experts. Um, the worst actually was the rear view uh, window. You could actually see the whole structure was sagging and you could see the uh, upper part of the headliner through the back window. Quite embarrassing really. Here's a bit of a closer look. I'd actually taped up the edge to stop the fabric cooing done as well so I was really unhappy with the condition of that. So I decided to fit uh, an upgraded GRP headliner which has already got the fabric glued on it. Um, then it's uh, out of my control and hopefully it'll be okay. It was a rigid type, there are non-rigid available. Uh, as I say, this is um, is uh, this video is about the removal of the headliner. There's other videos I've done in more details about fitting, why you chose a headliner, etc. So take a look at the headliner playlist for more videos on the subject. Okay, so as per normal, I'm going to break this up in sections. First, we're going to talk about the locations the headliner uses to stay attached to your roof. Then the removal process we've broken down into removing the front passenger seat, the a pillar sun visors, front center light unit, or the console, uh, rear, side, uh, rear side quarter trims, and then finally the headliner in detail itself. Okay, first of all, the location. So how does your headliner locate into the roof? So uh, working from the top clockwise, you've got a pillar locations in the corners, then the rear quarter trim, the back rear. There's actually a Velcro pad in the middle at the back near the uh, the light and at the front then you've got the sun visors holes actually the sun visors bolt through completely and the console overlaps so you need to address all these things in order to get it out so first of all we'll look at removing the front passenger seat i did this as i was fitting a rigid replacement and headliner you don't need to do this if you could use the flexible one it folded up get it in so why do you have to remove the seat well I probably could honestly manage um, with the seat in, even with a rigid headliner, but it does make a lot life a lot easier. Getting in the back seat is not the easiest with a seat in there, and um, it was much improved access. It's also a bit easier removing the headliner through the door opening with the seat not there. Okay, so removing the seat, um, there's two rear bolts, T40 Torx, you need to remove them. You need to pull off the seat trim, pull that forward, and there's two T40 Torx at the front. And finally, there's a yellow socket underneath. Unclip that and you should be able to remove the seat pretty easily. Be careful, it's very heavy, watch your back. I've actually detailed, I've uh, got a video about that in really a lot more detail. That's video 184. Please take a look at that if you want a bit more detail about that. A pillar trims then. Basically, use your trim tool, just lever off the top section of the A pillar trim. It should then just disengage from the spring clips and it should be pulled away easily to remove that. Again, I've gone into far more detail in that and recovering them in video 185. Sun visors then. In order to remove the sun visors, uh, you need to open the, the screw cover on the right hand side there and then untighten the screw. On the Right, uh, the left hand side then using a trim tool lever off the cover you should see two screws then and you need to remove those two screws the remaining fixing you then need to get your trim tool and just lever that out it'll actually be wired it's with the power for the uh, the vanity mirror lights um, but you will come to that in a moment as i say it got into more detail in sun visor removal in video 187 Central light, to remove that, uh, you need to lever from the front. There's three clips. You need to at attack the front clip in the middle there first. And the whole thing should pull down very easily. You should be able to disengage all the clips. Then you just have to 
disconnect the socket, the white socket there. And you can now unclip the yellow sockets, which are actually the sun visor uh, wires. And you should be able to pull both those through the headliner. I've been through the roof, roof console removal, like I say, in a lot more detail and upgrading to LED bulbs in video 186. Rear quarter trim then. Uh, you need to at least remove or uh, release the top rail of the rear quarter trim to get your um, headliner out. In order to do that, you need to open the covers on the coat hooks and remove the screw, remove the screw in there, and it should pull completely off there like that. Then you need to get your hand behind the, uh, be between the headliner and the header rail of that quarter trim feeling for the spring clip you can see in the uh, picture there and pull inwards and down to disengage it do the same at the rearmost uh, part of that header rail get your hand underneath feel for the spring clip and pull it out you should uh, do the same for the other side and then you should have a gap at the top where these uh, you've got a bit of play to get for the headliner to move out of the way I've actually done the job properly because uh, when you're actually refitting them, I think it's a lot better to re uh, completely loosen the rear quarter trim from all its locations. I've covered that in detail in video 189. The headliner then itself. So this is the detail of the headliner. So you need to remove the rear lamp. You need to get your fingers or a trim tool in there and pull it out. It'll be really stiff because the locations are quite positive. You can see here the locations on that light you might damage the old liner taking this out. So uh, be careful if you want to keep your liner, headliner. Once it's out, you need to just unplug the light unit, depress the two uh, side clips and pull the socket off. Then there's the Velcro pad at the centre rear. I've got, you've took a picture here of actually the Velcro pad with the headliner uh, removed. It's about six inches or 15 centimetres from the, uh, the the rear screen there. Once uh, you know to release that, it is to well. In my case, it was actually already it already come loose years ago as part of the reason why it was sagging. But you need to pull down uh, the, at the centre of the headliner to remove that uh, or disengage the Velcro pad. Now you should be able to the headliner should be loose now. You should be able to pull the back edge of the headliner forwards in car. Uh, jiggling your quarter trims to try and release it because it's trying to uh, it's trying to grab them. Once you've done that, you need to push it side by side, one side forwards, as I say. Um, then you need to guide it, guide the front edge of the headliner onto the dashboard. There should be enough uh, room then for the headliner itself to come all the way onto the dashboard and clear the rear quarter trims. Once that, it should actually drop down completely from the roof and the headliner is loose in your car interior. Unfortunately, the headliner will not fit, the do fit through the door opening like that. It's too long. You need to rotate it 90 degrees, as we've done here. You like, and actually then uh, pivot the driver's seat back into an upright position. Uh, so the headliner is sort of pointing down to the front of the car and then you've got the longest um, part of the aperture of the door opening in order to get the headliner out it should be able you might have a bit of problem jiggling with the gear stick and the uh, steering wheel so you need to move them out of the way there you go and um, the headliner is removed once it's removed i could actually see the structural issues with the old headliner um you can see it there's a uh, there headliner itself, the original headliner, seemed to be a three-ply laminate with reinforced fibre, a foam layer, and another reinforced fibre layer. But in my case, the, it was a lot of delamination uh, around the edges, particularly in the corners, where obviously it's been manipulated in and out of the car a few times. Um, it was it lost so much uh, structural integrity. In fact, it looked like the glue had gone off. The headliner actually bent easy, really easily, and hence why it was sagging. Uh, so this is really why I was getting this big gap in the rear. Okay, the Velcro pad probably wasn't working properly, but it was got this big sag. So that's one of the reasons why I really wanted a rigid headliner. Anyway, 
That's this video in our headliner video playlist. There's lots of other videos in the series, including putting it back in. Um, hope you find that useful if you've got a XK Coupe and you've got a sagging headliner. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more XK videos.